Hey everybody, welcome to the how to connect your AirPods to your Mac with a single click video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a quick, simple Apple Script app that will let you connect your AirPods to your Mac in a single click. The regular way to connect your AirPods to your Mac isn't overly difficult, but it does require a bit of clicking. Whether you use Bluetooth shortcut on the menu bar, select your AirPods and click connect, or set up the volume control so you can click volume and then your AirPods, both are pretty painless. However, I came across another way to connect my AirPods in a single click that I think is pretty awesome. So let's set this up together. First, you'll need to open the script editor on your Mac. Use Spotlight by pressing Command Spacebar and type in Script Editor, and then press Enter. When the script editor opens, go to File and click on New. This will open up a new blank script window. Now we need to add the script. You can copy the script in the description below between the lines labeled Script Code to Copy and paste it in the script window. Now you'll need to locate two bits of code to personalize this for your AirPods. In the code there are two sections that are the device name of your AirPods. In the code you copied, it's called Samples AirPods. You'll need to change this to the device name of your AirPods. If you called them something simple without any apostrophes or odd characters, you can just delete the sample in the code and type in the name. But if your AirPods are named like mine with an apostrophe, I would recommend copying the device name from the Bluetooth settings and pasting it in the code, as the apostrophe Apple uses when it names your AirPods is different than the one on your keyboard. So if like me, you need to copy the device name, I'll show you the way to do it. Go to System Preferences, open the Bluetooth settings by clicking on the Bluetooth icon, then make sure you are connected to your AirPods. If you aren't already, control click or right click on your AirPods and connect. Once connected, control click or right click on your AirPods again and choose Rename. We don't intend to rename the AirPods doing this, but it gives us the ability to copy the name as it is to paste in our script. So select the entire name in the text box and copy the text either by using Command C on your keyboard or right clicking or control clicking on the highlighted text and choosing copy. Now you can press cancel and close the system preferences window. Now you can go back to the script editor and paste in your AirPods name by highlighting samples AirPods and then either Command V or right clicking and choosing paste. Remember you'll need to do this in both places in the code for this to work. Once that is complete, then you just need to turn the code into its own little app by saving it. To do this, just go to File and select Save. In the file name box, you can name this little app whatever you like. I called mine Connect AirPods. In the File Format section of the Save window, make sure you select Application so the code will end up working. Now that you've specified that it's an application and named the code, you can save it wherever you like. In this example, I'm saving it on the desktop but I did permanently save mine in the Applications folder. Now the hard part is done, but there's still one more step. If you try to run it now, it will give you an error message. The file name is not allowed as list of access, and then in brackets, dash 1719. That's because we have to give it permission to be able to run. To do that, we need to go to the System Preferences, then click on Security and Privacy, then click the Privacy tab, and then choose Accessibility on the list to the left. Now you'll need to click on the lock in the bottom left hand corner to make changes in this window. So click on the lock and enter your password. Now that the system is unlocked, you can add the script app you made to the list by pressing the plus sign and navigating to your app. The example is on the desktop. Once you've located your script app, double click it and that will add it to the list. Make sure there is a check mark in the box on the left. You can now lock the settings back up and test your script app. Now you can connect your AirPods to your Mac with a single click. I put a shortcut on my dock, but if you use shortcut tools like Better Touch Tool, you can even create a keyboard shortcut to connect them. Now, whenever I want to switch my AirPods from my iPhone or Apple Watch to my MacBook Pro, I just click the link on my dock. It makes connecting super simple. I wasn't fond of the default icon though, so I created a custom icon for mine. If we can get this video to 100 likes, I'll share it with a link in the description. Well everybody, that was how to connect AirPods to your Mac with a single click. If you found this video helpful or informative, feel free to give this video a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos including tech how-tos every week. As always, 
Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.